Here we have 4.7 factoring with repeated use of the difference of squares formula. So first I need to factor out my GCF, which is the 3 and a V squared. And that leaves me with y to the fourth minus 16. Then if I use my, uh, here this is 4 squared. This is actually y squared. y squared squared means y squared times y squared, which is y to the fourth. Okay. So that's what's being squared there, which means when I write this out, it's going to be y squared plus 4 and then y squared minus 4. Again, don't forget the GCF from the beginning. However, this is perfect squares, but a plus in the middle. I know that that is prime when it has a plus in the middle. So this term cannot, this factor cannot be factored anymore. However, over here, I have a difference of two perfect squares, which can be factored using the difference of squares formula. So what is being squared there? It's a y. What is being squared here? It's a 2. So this will factor into y plus 2 and y minus 2. Now that there's no more exponents on the y, we know that these cannot be factored any further. However, you cannot forget about the expression that's already part of the answer from what you were factoring at the beginning. So you must include all other factors to get the final answer.